Hey, hey, hello, ladies. Amanda McCormick coming at you live here in Amanda's Hair Bling 101. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to the group. If you are new here, um, go ahead and give me a high five. Thanks for joining us. And for all of you catching this on the replay, go ahead and put hashtag replay down below so we can know that you see it. So I'm here today and I'm going to show you two awesome ways to do a quick and a wonderful Gibson tuck using Lilla Rose hair accessories. So this is quick and it's super cute and it's pretty comfortable as well. So um, for those of you that are joining in, I want to let you know there is a sale going on. It's 20% off select styles and 10% off everything else. And if your order hits $50 or above, you not only get free shipping, but you then also qualify for our monthly customer special of a free U-Pin. Now you get to choose either one of the nice, big, awesome, giant U-Pins or the U-P Swerve, or you can choose um, from select styles of the sets of the smaller ones. So those are amazing for doing French twists and buns and all kinds of different hairstyles, especially if you have, a, especially if you have a lot of long, heavy hair. Those U pins are crazy amazing because they will hold your hair up and off of your neck without adding a lot of weight. So super cool, and um, all our consultant links are above. So make sure you find your consultant's links and shop with your consultant that added you here, welcomed you here. And if you don't know who your consultant is, um, I'm Amanda McCormick and my lovely team is up above. So feel free to just choose a link and shop there at will. So I'll go ahead and get started for you ladies. Um, I am going to do this cute little Gibson tuck here. And I'll try to speak loud enough to make sure that you can hear me as I'm doing it. So let me go ahead and take it down. I have a cat trying to get in my bedroom. It's always a cat. Okay, so you only need two things to do this really cute Gibson tuck. Now, before Lilla Rose, this Gibson tuck may have been done, or you may now be doing them with a lot of bobby pins to hold in all the loose pieces. However, with Lilla Rose, all I need is a hair elastic, which of course you can see this one is stretched out. I kind of borrowed it from my daughter because I don't wear them anymore, but I found one laying around, so I have a hair elastic. And I have one of our brand new Flexi Clips. And for those of you that are new, I'll do my little spiel for you. This is a Flexi Clip, and it is made out of piano wire, so it bends and flexes. The pin is attached so it doesn't fall off. So this goes through the hair, back in the clip, and then as it bends around, there's three notches on the underside of the pin. So the, the clip actually grabs one of those notches and then the tension keeps it on tight. Now, for those of you that have been wearing Lilla Rose for a while, I've just learned of an awesome new upgrade they are doing. We are getting an extra notch. How about that? We will now have four notches in the new um, flexi clips. I don't know when the new ones will actually be out, but they are redesigning the pin just a little bit. They're adding a fourth notch, which means we can cinch it in a little tighter. Um, so that gives us a little uh, more flexibility, a little wider range of hair thickness to hold. And they are actually flattening the ball of the pin and the sizing of the flexi clip will move from the end of the pin, this end of the pin, to this end of the pin. So the ball will end up being a flat circle and the size will be in there. So super cool. Just a little bit of information for you, a little update. Okay, so now to do the Gibson tuck, I'm going to stick my flexi in my pocket where it normally is. So I'm just going to gather my hair in a loose, low ponytail with the elastic. And now, in this last loop, I'm only going to pull it halfway through. And then I want my ends to be up on the top, like so. Okay, so now I'm going to open up the pony so I can slide it in. So I'm creating this opening, and then I'm going to tuck my ends in. 
and then flip this in. So I created an opening in my hair there and then I tucked all my pony and my ends in and now I'm just holding the edges together to kind of hold my mess in place. Now I'm taking my flexi clip and as always I hold it in an L and this seems to give me the best control. So I'm holding it in an L and I'm going to slide it in. And there you go. And that's it. And of course I can't see what it looks like doing it this time. But how'd that go for you? So it just slides on in there and then it holds the top sections together so it keeps your all your ends tucked in there. And one thing about this Gibson tuck is it does seem to work best with medium to slightly long length hair. Um, if your hair is crazy long, then you might need to um, braid it first before tucking it. Um, and then, you know, you can kind of, it can, the lump back there can kind of get crazy. So there's that. That is one way to do the Gibson tuck with um, Lola Rose hair accessories. Now the second way is um, to add a hairband. So I'm going to have not only just the hair elastic and the flexi clip, I'm also going to add in um, a hairband. And it just kind of gives you an extra opportunity to accessorize. So first, I'm adjusting the elastic to the size that I want it. I usually have it pretty wide open first. That's going to be too wide. Make it a little smaller here. Okay, now I'm going to leave the hairband up on top of my hair. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and make the low loose pony like I did before. Pull it halfway through, make the opening, tuck it inside. Whoop, I forgot. Take your ends and actually tuck it into the hairband. And then you just keep tucking. So you go ahead and keep tucking your hair all around the hairband. Once you feel like you have it all tucked in, then go ahead and grab your flexi clip again and secure it. So there's that. And then you can go ahead and adjust your hairband however you like. I don't really do the forehead look. So there you go. Looks like I could use a little adjusting here. So what do you ladies think? Is that super cute? And this is the style that was in that picture. Was it one or two weeks ago? The cute blonde hair. With, that was a Gibson tuck and this is how you do it. So there's the hairband. Hairband Gibson tuck. So 
Thank you ladies for joining me and if you enjoyed this video then be sure to show some love down below. Give me some comments and uh, let me know that you liked it and hey go ahead and give it a try at home and then post some pictures in the group and let me see um, how it goes. How you know put up a video put up some pictures let me know how it goes when you try it out. So thanks again for joining me. I'm Amanda McCormick and Amanda's Hair Bling Group and be sure to catch me again live next Tuesday right here at 8.30. So have a great night, ladies. Keep on shining.